Let's take a quick look at how to spell check in Adobe InDesign. So you might notice there's something misspelled here. In fact, the word spell is misspelled. So we're going to use spell check to fix that. Now in InDesign, there's actually something called dynamic spelling. You may already have it turned on. As long as I'm not in my preview mode, which looks like this, where it gets rid of all the margins and guides, as long as I'm in this mode here, if I go up to edit, down to spelling, we can actually turn on dynamic spelling. Dynamic spelling, you may not want, but it does show you with a red underline, just like other word processors, words that Adobe InDesign thinks are misspelled. In this case, of course, the word spell is not right. It's supposed to be spell. So dynamic spelling can help. That's a quick spell check that as you're working on your document, you can actually see where it thinks words are misspelled. But we can also go back up to edit down to spelling. And we have autocorrect, which I would probably never turn on personally. But then we have check spelling. So under check spelling is that sort of spell check dialog box you're used to. First, it'll find the first word it thinks is misspelled. It'll give you some suggested corrections. We can hit spell and we can say change or change all, you know, if it finds that multiple times, but we'll hit change and then it will go on to the next, to the next, to the next. And it doesn't find anything else here. Even if we hit start, it's just kind of done, right? It doesn't find any more words to fix, but all of these options here are a way that you can um, adjust your spell check settings to, like you can add words to your dictionary. So if you know a word was spelled correctly, you can hit add. It won't find that as misspelled anymore. Be careful with that. Make sure you're adding appropriate words that won't be misspelled. But this is how to do spell check. And I think that dynamic spelling is really helpful. Although sometimes um, you may not want it in your document, especially if you're working like at my old job, we used to work with product naming. And so like it thought every product was incorrectly spelled and we didn't want to add them all to the dictionary. It's just letters and numbers. So that was something we would turn off for those documents just so we could see a, a cleaner view of our document. But that's how to do spell check here in InDesign.